Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. So my name is Agnes, in case you're new to this channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing this uh, skirt. It's multicolored. I used the shell stitch and it has these beautiful ruffles at the bottom. However, if you're not into ruffles, you can just leave it as a pencil skirt, uh, just like this here. And I think it's also very pretty. So yeah, I'm into bright colors at the moment. So you'll be seeing more bright colors and uh, it's really easy even for a beginner. So don't get fooled by how the stitch looks. It's really easy. It's a repeat of two rows. So yeah, thank you so much for 93,000 subscribers and I hope you subscribe if you haven't. So let's get into this tutorial. This is what you will need. All right, for this tutorial, I'm using this Grundel Lisa Premium for the blue and the orange and the white. Uh, this recommends a 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter hook. I'll be using a 3.5 and it is 50 grams each, 133 meters. You'll need a tape measure. And as said, I will use a 3.5 millimeter hook. So let's begin. So we are going to begin with a foundation chain. And this is going to be your hips measurements, subtract six inches, okay? So make a chain equivalent to your hips measurements minus six. So mine is, hips measurements is 33 inches, subtract six, yeah? And that's 27 inches of chain. So <clears throat> right here, I do have my chain, 27 inches. Make sure your chain is a multiple of six. So this is about, my hips measurements about 33 inches, which is 84 centimeters. Subtract six inches, you get 27 inches or 60, about 68.5 centimeters, okay? So that's for me and I'm an extra, extra small, okay? So take your hips measurements, subtract six inches. And what you remain with, that should be a chain. So let your chain be a multiple of six. So it could be, you know, more than 27 inches, like a half or something because of the, you know, chain of the multiple of six. Anyway, we are going to join our chain, the beginning and the end together. Straighten your chain. Make sure it's not uh, straight. It's, I mean, make sure it's straight. In that very first stitch, insert your hook and make a slip stitch to join your chain. Okay, so now you're going to chain one, two, three. And in that very first stitch, you are going to make a double crochet. So make a double crochet like this. Go into your next stitch, make a double crochet. Next is a double crochet like this. Insert your hook into the chain. And then pull through two and then pull through two again. All right, so this row is a row of double crochets and you're going to insert one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end. Once you're at the end, I will meet you so that I can show you how to close off the row and change the color. All right. See you at the end of the row. So I'm done with my row of double crochets and this last one, last stitch, do not finish it off. So once you have two loops remaining on the hook, you are going to change color. That is if you want to change color. Okay. So I'll just get this other color, which is a color orange and then yarn over and pull through to complete my double crochet. And then we are going to close off this row with a slip stitch on top of the chain three. So on top of the chain three, I'll make a slip stitch and that's our row one. So I will just tie this off to make it secure 
and now for row two it's going to be the shell stitch so i'm going to chain three so chain three and over and in this very first stitch i will make two double crochets so that the chain three counts as a stitch so this is now our third stitch right and then i will yarn over skip sorry don't yarn over so skip the first two stitches and into the third stitch make a slip stitch like this okay then yarn over skip the next two stitches and into the third stitch you will make a double crochet so skip two into the third one make a double crochet that's one make your second double crochet into the very same stitch your third double crochet into that same stitch and then your fourth double crochet in the same stitch and lastly the fifth one in the same stitch so you're making five double crochets in one stitch and then you're going to skip two stitches and into the third stitch you will make a slip stitch like this okay that's our shell so yarn over skip two stitches and into the third stitch you are again going to make five double crochets in that same stitch so that's one two three four and then five and then you're going to skip two stitches and into the third stitch make a slip stitch right then skip two stitches into the third stitch make five double crochets so that's basically the pattern and it's easy as that okay it's just skip two make a slip stitch skip two make five half double five double crochets skip two make a slip stitch skip two make five double crochets so you're going to repeat this pattern for this row two and i'll meet you at the end of the row i'm at the end of the row and my last one is going to be into this stitch you could be remaining with two stitches or three um uh, just go ahead and put into the last one insert your two stitches like this two double crochets like that so that completes it into uh five right uh, but now we are going to change color so before you complete that fifth one change color and then on top of that chain three you are going to do a slip stitch to close off the row so we have our five stitches double crochets right there three at the beginning of the row and two at the end of the row so you just cut off your yarn and then tighten it now you're going to chain one so here there's a difference so here you'll just chain one and skip two stitches into the third one which is the, the slip stitch that we made in the previous row you're going to make five double crochets so it's going to be alternating between two rows one you start with just a chain one and then go straight into the shell stitch and the other you start with a chain three do two double crochets and then continue with the pattern so it's going to be exchanging like that depending on how you end the row and start the row okay so if this row is uh i started with a, a chain one the next one will be a double crochet one so that's my last one and now you are going to go skip two stitches And on top of the middle one, that middle one there, which is the third one, you will make a slip stitch. So the middle one is where you make a slip stitch.
and now you're going to skip two into the third one which is the previous uh slip stitch you'll go ahead and make five double crochets so that's one that's two that's three four and five all right so now you're going to skip two and we'll go right on top of that middle one and make a slip stitch then yarn over go into the slip stitch right there in the, in the bottom and make five double crochets so it is as easy as that so obvious so where there is a slip stitch make five double crochets and where there is the double crochets in the middle stitch make a slip stitch repeat like that so I'll see you at the end of the row just to show you how to close it off and begin the next row okay so i'm done with row one and this is my fifth one so into closing instead of closing it off i am going to change color right because we're going to we're supposed to close it off with a slip stitch i am going to change color into back to the blue one and then i'll make a slip stitch right under that very first one where we had that chain one right in there that's where i will make my slip stitch and we've closed off the row so make sure these are tight <coughs> all right so for the next row is now going to be where we chain three so chain three and in that very first stitch we are going to make three sorry two double crochets because the chain counts as a double crochet which makes it three so that's the second one and then the third one and then what do we do next we go on top of the five double crochets sorry at the middle one in the middle and make a slip stitch and then yarn over and go at the bottom where we have our slip stitch and make five double crochets three four and five and then at the top right there we make a slip stitch and then at the bottom five double crochets and that's going to be the pattern until you get to the other side okay i'll meet you once you're done with this row just continue with the pattern it is easy okay I'm at the end of the row and as you see we have two stitches left so I'll just put it into this second stitch but if you want your work to look neater I advise you put it under the chain three All right so you can always put it under the chain three if you want but I'll just yeah put it here because you'll always have two stitches left instead of three okay so I want to change color and I'll close this off with a slip stitch on top of the chain three. All 
and then we are going to begin on our next row and since our previous one was a chain three now it's just going to be a chain one so we are just going to go ahead into this slip stitch here and make five double crochets it's two three four and then five and then we're going to make a slip stitch in the middle stitch on top here and then five double crochets at the bottom here And uh, this is going to be basically the pattern all through. You're going to continue doing this um, until you have the height of the skirt that you want. So once you get here, you chain three and then start all over again like that. Keep interchanging between the two rows for chain three and then for chain one until you have the height of the skirt that you want. And then I'll come show you how to do the borders, the ruffles for those who want the ruffles, and then we'll do the waistband. So I have about 12 inches and a half, right, of my skirt, and I'm ready to put my bottom border. Okay. So this is before we put the, the waistband. The waistband is about two and a half inches also, so keep that in mind while you calculate your height of skirt length so we are going to use a single crochet in every stitch this is for those who want to put the ruffles however for those that do not want to put the ruffles use a slip stitch like this this is how you do a slip stitch so slip stitch in every stitch if you want a pencil skirt but if you want ruffles then you will go ahead with single crochets. I hope you got that. For the ruffles, we are doing single crochets. For those who want a pencil skirt, we're only going to slip stitch in every stitch. Okay? So, since I'm going to do the ruffles, I'll just go around. So, I'm done. And uh, I'm going to close this off with a slip stitch. For those who want to do the ruffles, don't cut off your yarn because you need it to do the ruffles. But I need to show the Spencer skirt people how to do the waistband and I take pictures. So I'm just going to cut it off and I will return later. Okay, so now let's do the waistband first. So... yeah this stitch really looks nice i hope you like it uh we are going to reattach our yarn at the top and i'm using this color blue so we're going to chain three And we'll be using front post and back post. So for front post, you go under your first double crochet like that with your hook and make a double crochet. And next is going to be a back post. So you're going to come from the back. A back post, come from the back over your double crochet like that. This is how it looks. And then complete your double crochet. So that's our second stitch and for our third stitch is going to be a front post so from the front post and our fourth stitch is going to be a back post and then we will make a decrease on our fifth stitch so these are four so the fifth one instead of going under one we'll go under two double crochets instead so Two double crochets go under them will make a decrease yeah and then make your front post all right now we start again so this is one back post two front post 
three back posts, four front posts, and five where we make a decrease. So the fifth one is going to be a back post. Now you go over two double crochets to make that decrease. So we're making decrease after every four stitches. So go around and meet you back here. So I'm back and I'm done with my decreasing row and I'm going to close this off with a slip stitch on top of that chain three. Now for row two, you're going to chain three and make a front post where you see a front post and a back post where you see a back post. Next is a front post and then a back post. So there's no decreasing, there's no increasing. It's just going to be front post, back post, front post, back post until you finish this row. And once you're done with this row, then you'll do another row and another row until you're satisfied with the height of your, the length of your waistband. I think I did about four rows of front post and back post. So yeah, I'll come when we're done so that we can put in the, the drawstring. Okay. All right, so this is it for now. I'm done. I did my drawstring. And uh, this is how the waistband looks like. I think I did about five uh, rows. So this is the height of my skirt, 15 inches. And I chained a drawstring, which is about 40 inches. You can, I should have made it a bit shorter, maybe 38. But we are going to put this inside. So chain your drawstring for your waist band. And I will use this yarning needle to put it in. And I'm going to be putting it on the last row of front post and back post. So this is the middle of my skirt. So the front where I will tie it because I want to tie in that when I tie it, it stays inside so that's why my drawstring started from the inside so i'm just going to be going in between the front post and back posts with my needle all around i went all around and this is how it looks so you can use this to you know adjust your waist and once you tie it just put it inside okay so the skirt is finished for those who wanted the pencil skirt right now it is uh we are going to work on the ruffles so if you wanted it as a pencil skirt this is you're, you're done you're good you, you you can go and wear your skirt but if you want the ruffles then this is your next part okay so for the ruffles part, you're going to reattach your yarn if you had cut off your yarn. But if you hadn't, we are going uh, to work from where you stopped with a single crochet row and chain two. Yeah, so in that very first stitch, you're going to insert four half double crochets. So that's one. That is two. three and four yeah so you're going to go into your next stitch make four half double crochets into your next stitch make four half double crochets and that's going to be the pattern for this row it's going to be four half double crochets in every stitch four half double crochets in every stitch and yeah continue doing that and i'll meet you at the end of this row
so i've come to the end of row of the row and in this last one i'm just going to put three of them and then close this off with a slip stitch and we are done with the increasing row if you want you can just you know have like one row but i will do three rows so you're not going to chain two and in that very first stitch, stitch make a half double crochet and we are going to do half one half double crochet in every stitch for this row so just one half double crochet no more increases okay so one half double crochet in every stitch for this row this is our second row so double crochets one half double crochet in every stitch once you're done close it off and do another one all right so i did a total number of three rows on the ruffles and this is how it looks like i hope you like the skirt yeah so don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up uh, leave a comment and share as wide as you can see you in the next tutorial guys bye thanks for watching